hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i am going to di discuss the topic electric dipole now as the name suggests electric dipole that means it has two polarities which is contributed by two opposite kind of charges now basically what is the origin of this dipole now uh, the definition of this electric dipole as given in various books it says that it is a system of two charges system of two point charges and which are separated by a small distance and the charges must have uh, same magnitude but opposite sign so that is you have you have a two point charges plus q and minus q and separated by a small distance okay separated by a small distance so you have charge plus q and minus q separated by a small distance now these two charges must have must have same magnitude but they must have they also have opposite sign okay so if this is plus q this is minus q if this is 2q this will be minus 2q if this is 3q this will be minus 3q so that the total charge of the system will be zero and these must be separated by a small distance now now uh, you may have a doubt ki how is it possible that a system is having two opposite charges separated by still uh, small distance and still they are not interacting they are not attracting because they should attract and finally they should fuse so for this you need to know the origin of this electric dipole formation of electric dipole so as i told you that this is a system of two charges so actually in a normal molecule in a normal molecule uh, you have uh, center of positive charge or you have you can say that you have a cloud in a molecule you have a cloud of positive charge and you have a cloud of negative charge you have a cloud of positive charge and you have a cloud of negative charge now it so happens that in certain molecules like uh, methane these centers of positive charge and centers of negative charge they they are uh, they are overlap okay so basically there there is no separation between the two charges now whereas in case of other molecules like water molecule the center of positive charge and center of negative charge they are separated by small distance okay now for this kind of molecules if they are placed in some external uh, field suppose you have uh, positive charge and negative charge they are for a molecule suppose they are uh, at the same location okay now if this molecule is placed in some external uh, electric field then what will happen suppose the electric field it is directed in this direction it is directed in this direction so this positive charge will uh, cloud of positive charge will move in the direction of the electric field the cloud of negative charge will move opposite to the direction of electric field and uh, it will acquire this shape so this positive charge this negative charge so the clouds now they have the centers of the clouds have separated so now they are separated by a small distance this positive charge cloud this negative charge cloud so this is now a dipole so now the overall charge again as i told you it will be zero okay but see although the total charge is zero but the electric field associated with this dipole it is not zero if you calculate the electric field near the uh, near this dipole we will see that the electric field is not zero and at far distance from this dipole the electric field decreases but at a faster rate means for a point charge for a point charge q the electric field it is inversely proportional to r square okay but for a dipole for a dipole we will see that this electric field expression it is inversely proportional to r cube so we will see that this the fall in electric field intensity or the decrease in electric field intensity as you move away from the dipole it is much more than as compared to as you move away from a single charge so these are the basic concepts we are going to see in this topic electric dipole so now we will learn a few uh, important terms associated with an electric dipole now suppose uh, this is the dipole this is minus q this is plus q charge okay so these are the two charges constituting the dipole now uh, this line which is passing through 
the axis of the dipole that is called the axial line axial line this is the axial line and perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector to the dipole this is called the equatorial line equatorial line okay and uh, the length of the dipole it is a vector quantity and it is always measured from the convention is it is always measured from the negative charge to the positive charge so twice l vector so it is directed from negative charge to positive charge so twice l is the length of the dipole and it is directed from the negative charge to the positive charge that is the convention okay so this is the length of the dipole then there is a term called magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment denoted by the symbol p it is a vector quantity it is a vector quantity now it is defined as magnetic dipole moment it is defined as the product of either charge constituting the dipole magnitude you have to take the magnitude and you have to multiply it with the length of the dipole the length of the dipole so in this case it is twice l okay so twice l is the length of the dipole so p is equal to q times twice l so now since the length of the dipole it is measured from the negative charge to the positive charge so it implies that now this p is, will be in the direction of the length of the dipole so that means this magnetic dipole moment it is uh, directed from the negative charge to the positive charge from the negative charge towards the positive charge and uh, how about this unit of this magnetic dipole moment this is coulomb so this is meter so this is coulomb this is meter so this will be coulomb meter okay coulomb meter is the unit of magnetic dipole moment so these are the few terms associated with the electric dipole